Hi, I'm RLB. And I'm RDB. And we're here with the special Halloween edition Japanese subscription box for you. And it is from Ta -da! Tokyo Sweet Box. Now, this is a new box for us. Um, I think it's relatively new. This is a unique box in that it is not an actual subscription box. Um, they don't offer month-to-month -month automatically renewable subscriptions um, because they do a lot of theme boxes from what I can see like up next their next two boxes that you can order and they come from Malaysia by the way but apparently it's all Japanese stuff um, the next two boxes you can order are for Christmas and one is a just a premium box but it's Sailor Moon and the other one looks like a Pokemon theme box yeah okay and also the prices change with each theme. It's not always the same like this box I got for 33 bucks. This is, of course, like I said, the special Halloween box. Um, it was 36, but I got a, a coupon because I uh, friended them on Facebook and got $3 off. Um, but yeah, so for the, what they have coming up is the Sailor Moon for Christmas and that box is $49 and the Pokemon is 36. And um, yeah, they said they don't offer a subscription at this time. It says all Tokyo Sweet Box will have to be ordered on a monthly basis, which gives our customers the freedom to order as and when they like. And our boxes are themed and different every month. You can order it whenever your favorite character or anime is up. So that's kind of a cool thing. I like that they're not the traditional, uh, you know, just plain Japanese mm -hmm. subscription box, but they give you something because a lot of people, of course, who love Japanese stuff like anime and some people like Pokemon and Sailor Moon. Um, and whatever else type of niche. So that's good. Uh, yeah. So this, uh, I guess we're ready. This is our special Halloween box. Again, we're wearing Halloween stuff. Halloween theme. Me. Or er, him and me. <laughs> okay, let's break into it. So they give you your ID sheets, of course, with all the stuff on it that's in the box. And on the back of it, um, it gives you a coupon, coupon code for $3 off your next box. So that's kind of cool. Um, it says, thank you very much for your purchase. Do tag us on Instagram. And uh, then, uh, yeah, then it gives you the uh, coupon code for 3 bucks off. So that's very nice. And this is good until the end of December. Uh, problem is, is I don't think I want either one of those boxes and they don't have a November theme box coming up because of course the Japanese don't celebrate Thanksgiving so oh well we'll figure it out so anyways I was gonna give this to my husband because I'm wearing special eye makeup and the next treat in the box is something that you have to uh, wear over your eyes and well, you can show them all. all right so anyways I'll put this silly looking thing on all right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta bend down a little bit for the camera. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there it is, cute. But I'll just wear it and you won't be able to see it, so I won't be completely humiliated. And the next thing is, is these are pretty cool. These are like LED sun, well not sunglasses, they're just LED glasses that are pumpkins. And they light up, so let's open this. Cool. Well, I guess you just pull that out. Now, how do you turn it on? Oh, back there. Ah! Uh, you ready to wear those? Sure. Super Halloween nerd! <laughs> is it weird wearing the wearing uh, this? It's the flashing. Is uh, maybe we'll have a seizure. Yeah. <laughs> well, I uh, I've been suffering mig for migraines for the past two days, so <clears throat> I definitely don't want to be wearing those. Okay, so what I see up next is this, and it says onigiri crackers, cute onigiri shaped seaweed rice crackers. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's only two in here. Hmm. And they're shaped like onigiri, the t traditional Japanese onigiri. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're basically your typical run-of-the-mill um, pre-packaged soy sauce rice cracker. 
not too heavy on the soy, not too sweet for my preference. Very good. <laughs> I'm gonna save mine. Okay, so the next thing in the box is something else to wear, which is kind of awesome. It's a little, uh, I think a flashy pin. It's got a little ghost sitting on a pumpkin. Oh yeah, okay, and it's got the little battery in the back. Oh man, this is awesome! I think I'm gonna wear this when we go trick or treating. Or you can wear it. Or should we put it on Joe so we can see her? Yeah, we could do this, but it might annoy her. I have this feeling she might like it at first and then she'll, you know, like, take it off, mama. <laughs> Our little girl's three and a half, so. We never know which way the wind is gonna blow with her. <laughs> but yeah, this is cute. I'm not gonna put it on right now, but that's pretty neat. That's cool. Yeah. Did I turn it off by accident? I did. I did. Okay. I oh, went really fast. <laughs> All right. Cool. Very neat. This will be good for trick or treating. Hey, my glasses quit flashing. What the heck, man? <laughs> it's like they communicated with each other. Wi Fi. Uh, no. <laughs> the batteries have failed. Which is entirely possible because who knows how long these have been packaged up and these could be crappy batteries. But you can see that they're, uh... Yeah, they're replaceable. Yeah, what are the... Watch they, batteries? Yeah, they're called 357s. Not bullets, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but anyways, yeah. there are three of these, like, watch batteries yeah. in there, so... <clears throat> I have to say I'm not impressed so far. Well, wear them anyways, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Ooh, so they gave us some more pumpkin pudding Kit Kats. Now, have we actually tried these? No, we did. We did try yeah. them on camera and they were baked. I did a little research after we had gotten our big bag from the other box that we got them in. I baked them. Yeah. It was a night when you left. You left for work and I did it. It was pretty good. It, I couldn't tell that there was a giant difference in taste after you bake them. So um, for what we're used to in America as a pumpkin flavor, um, the Japanese are way more subtle with their pumpkin flavor. So still good, mm -hmm. but not like, you know, easily identifiable either. Katsu! Hi, bubbies! You never come up here. Come on, my white and orange cat. Come on over here, bubbies. Come for the camera. Say hi. Everybody loves you, too. Even though they only hear your mouth. Um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna leave these because we've eaten them before. So our next thing looks like a Disney-themed product, which is my favorite type of product. So this is what it looks like, and this is a Halloween pyramid, special Halloween packaging filled with yummy chocolate biscuits. Well, it doesn't say anything about being Disney related, but we can see that it is because it's got Mickey and Minnie in Halloween outfits. We've had these, haven't we? Well, we've had something like these. These are kind of like the Koala March cookies and everything. Oh, yeah. You've got seaweed bits on your lip. Just, there you go. <laughs> seaweed left over from the crackers. Okay, so these are cute. Because it seems like what's on these cookies are not Halloween related. Because we have Pooh Bear, Sebastian the Crab, hmm. Eeyore, and there's only there's only five in here. And one of the uh, oh I'm sorry there's yeah there's five. And the last one is uh, is that possibly Dopey from the uh, elves. Snow White, Dwarfs, sorry. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen that one. But anyways, I bet these are filled with chocolate, so let's give these a, a go. Mm. Yep, yep, they're filled with chocolate. Just simple little biscuits like the Koala's March. Yeah, good. And the Panda Cookies. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's too bad there's only 
three yeah. in there. These would be a bucket of those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> those are really good. So up next, we have something that clearly says Halloween, and it's got a ghost on it. It looks like cheese puffs. There's a picture on the back that says mm -hmm. cheese, or has mm -hmm. cheese puffs on it. So this says Halloween snack, crunchy, crunchy pizza flavored snacks with special Halloween, Halloween packaging. Oh, I cannot speak. What else? <laughs> Oh my God, it does smell like pizza. Mm, yeah, that's cool. But they just look like cheese puffs with a little bit of spice on them. Come here, Povic. Come to the camera, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Here she is again, excuse me. All right, two for you. And I'll get two. Mm -hmm. Popik, you want one? I know you don't, because you don't eat human food. She and my other cat, Katsu, the only cats I've ever known to not like human food. Except turkey. She likes turkey. Take mm. that back. Yeah. All right. Pizza, corn, cheese puffs. Mmm. Mmm. That's fabulous. Yes. I wish uh, I had a giant bag of those. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm. A monster bag would be awesome. Mm, yeah. We need a monster bag for Halloween. Mm. All right, so next up, we have something really cute. Oops. A little cute little packaging. It is called Halloween Ramone. Uh, special Halloween packaging Ramone. I'm not a big Ramen A fan. I haven't found anything that made me go, wow. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're just white tablets. There's absolutely nothing spectacular about them. I'll just give you one. That's all I want. Oops. Here we go. that they tabs that we've had it's not as acidy it's more fruity mm -hmm. yeah I like it um yeah it's not bad compared to the normal <clears throat> ramen flavor that they give us hmm but um these tablets uh, they're like fast melt yeah yeah, yeah. definitely <laughs> like you're done in like seconds. 15 seconds yeah <laughs> max <laughs> All right, so our next thing up, I know I've had this before, but I had it um, and you were not with me. So we will mm. eat these again because it's been a while too. This is yakoyaki snack. Are you sure it's not takoyaki? It says crunchy round shaped snack of takoyaki flavored. <laughs> okay, but it says yakoyaki, see? Two ways. Yeah, I'm not mm. quite sure. It's right here. It says yakoyaki snack, and then it says takoyaki flavored. So, not sure about that. Oh, it's just laying here on the box. It's fine. Oh, there's too many. <laughs> That's right. I'll take two. You can have three. So they just look like little puffs with some spice on them. Kind of like the uh, pizza ones we just had. They're good. Uh, the flavor is um, kind of a generic savory flavor. Kind of chickeny, kind of beefy, kind of spicy, a little bit of garlic. Not one distinguishing flavor. No. But, you know, good. I would, I would eat a whole bag of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and it says on the back, Texas corn. Yeah, we've had these before, these Texas corn things. We might have actually had these on camp, because I remember seeing the Texas corn label. Hmm. So, whatever, I guess we did have these together on camera. I thought I just had a bag. The bag looked like this. It was by, I was by myself, so... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> whatever, it's good either way. We like it. Let me have a little sippy sip. 
Oh, I see something that I know you're gonna like in there. Why don't you pick one up? Do one of each? Heck yeah. Now we have four Umaibo here. Yay, that means each of us gets one. Right. And the flavors are yakitori and mentaiko. I don't know what mentaiko is. Yeah, that purple thing is uh, mentaiko. Let's see if we can decipher from the picture. Now, it's got some kind of mad scientist uh, who looks like he's suffering from rabies, holding a test tube and going bomb. Hmm. So you can uh, gather from that what you will. I guess we won't know until we try it, since we kind of have an idea what yakitori tastes you like. With them? Um, sure. Either way, we've got to eventually. We'll see. Oh, this smells fishy to me. Uh oh. Mm. I'm scared now. All right. Well, I'm not gonna let you smell it because you'll just you'll make that yucky face. <laughs> It's fishy. Again, I can't tell you what kind of fish. Maybe maybe it's shrimp for all we know. I don't know. I don't know the Japanese word for shrimp. I think it's ebi though, so it's not that. It's fishy of some sort. Couldn't tell you what though. I mean, it's good. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we've had the yakitori flavor before, which is kind of like a uh, teriyaki sauce type thing. Right. I don't know if you like that. Got a weird aftertaste or mm -hmm. something. It tastes kind of barbecuey to me. Yeah, but that that's just weird. All right, I've actually found them in my boat too, actually, that I don't really care for. I'd eat them if I had nothing else, but I don't prefer them. This has a weird funk to it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, I taste no fish at all. My taste buds must be burnt. Well, smell it. Don't you yeah, smell oh, it? Oh, yeah, that smells. Hmm. Like fish food. <laughs> mm. hmm. Well, this is just weird. This yakitori to me, I don't know. It's got a weird funky aftertaste. But it's kind of a before taste, too. Like you, as you're biting into it, you can kind of smell it, too. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, it kicked in. I, then I tasted. All right. <laughs> yeah, you you just right. needed to activate it with your lemonade, huh? Yeah. Uh, I... Okay, so moving on. So there's only two things left. So um, what we have here is another neat Halloween DIY kit, which I will do for you in a, in a video upcoming, forthcoming. This one is called Halloween DIY Kit. Make your own Halloween gummies. You know, I have to say, um, and I hate to point out something wrong on camera that more than we've already done, but this is not a gummy kit. This is like the Neru Neru Ne uh, whip it up sticky candy thing that I made, uh, the video I made like a week and a half or two weeks ago. That's what this looks like to me because it's got off and I think and it's got sprinkles, but I see nothing that looks like gummies here. So, but the funny thing is, is the picture on, the picture on the paper is this kit. So somebody just called it out wrong, but that's okay. I mean, we all make mistakes. I mean, you know, maybe in the future they'll be able to avoid that type of thing. But anyways, this looks like another narrow, 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 narrow candy kit. Uh, looks real simple. You probably just add, it looks like it's apple flavored because there's an apple down there. And apparently you probably just add some water as usually is the, the status quo for these type of kits. You just whip it up, put the sprinkles on, bada bing, bada boom, you're done. But it's got a witch on it. That's cool. So our very last thing in our box has the Shinkansen on it, which is Probably a lot of you know the Shinkansen is a super high-speed train that goes through Japan. We have been on it. Yeah, it was cool. Yes, it, it, it was very quick and awesome. 
and it says Shinkansen on there. Huh. So this says it is. Oh, Shinkansen lollipop. Cute packaging of Japan Shinkansen Railway. So apparently there's three different kinds from this picture. All right. Looks like a possibly grape flavor. Just a simple lollipop. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's good. All right, so we come to the end of the box. <clears throat> it's a weird grape. What do you mean? I don't know. It's just not the grape I'm used to. Okay. It's like maybe more faint. It's not as bitter as like our grape. Oh yeah, maybe yeah. like tangy. Yeah. Yeah, because I like the tangy, bitter type of thing, but that's me. Yeah, it's good. You can have it. I'm not going to die over it. I don't really want it. <laughs> <laughs> Popek, would yeah. you like a grape lollipop? She's, she's sniffing it. Oh, oh, she's coming close. Come on. Look, lift it up. You know you want it. Come on. Come on, Littles. You know you want it. We would never actually feed our animals candy, just so you know. They would need it anyway. <laughs> That's right, you would need it. Say, oh, you're so cute little thing. There's my sweeties. Okay, so um, as for the Tokyo Sweet Box, um, it was cute. Um, I liked it, you know, because it's a Halloween box. They put as much Halloween-themed stuff, I guess, as they could find. There could be more. Um... The, I don't know if it was worth $33. I mean, I like the fact that they give us these cute little things. It's not just candy and um, snacks. You know, we got these, which conked out, which means we're going to have to spend another, what, 10 bucks on those watch batteries to get it going again. Yeah, they're pretty costly. <laughs> they are. So, um, yeah. But, you know, if you like theme boxes, which I'm sure a lot of you do. I know a lot of people like Sailor Moon and Pokemon. Um, so you probably will want to try their, th um, upcoming Christmas theme boxes. So, um, I think go ahead, you know, give it one shot. Uh, you're not locked into anything since they don't do subscriptions. So, um, it was fun though. I mean, I enjoy a themed box. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, 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 it's cool. So anyways, go to, uh, www.tokyosweetbox.com and go to their store and see what they got. And we will see you soon with another review. Bye for now. Bye.